This video will show you how to find and effectively use the Journal of the American Psychiatric Nurses Association, also known as JAPNA, a great resource for psychiatric nursing students and professionals. The Journal of the American Psychiatric Nurses Association, or JAPNA, is a leading peer-reviewed publication that offers insights, research, and clinical information relevant to psychiatric nursing. Whether you're looking for the latest research, clinical practice guidelines, or professional key developments, JAPNA has you covered. You can access the journal through Saddleback's library website. Go to saddleback.edu slash library and click on Database Finder. Select J to see the alphabetical listings and then scroll down just a bit to find the Journal of the American Psychiatric Nurses Association. If you are researching from home or if you are on a personal device, you will be prompted to log in at this point with your Saddleback student login information. Now we see the homepage for JAPNA and notice at the top it says, I have access via Saddleback College. If you Google JAPNA and try to get access that way, it will not work. You need to authenticate through the Saddleback College Library website since we have purchased this resource, especially for our nursing students. Once you're on the JAPNA website, you'll notice several options for navigating the content. You can browse the latest issue by clicking on Current Issue or explore past issues by selecting All Issues. One thing to be aware of is when using the advanced search option, you need to type in the journal title once more. If you don't, you will see results from other psychiatric journals as well. Let's try a search using the terms bipolar and pediatric. We can see here that 34 results come up from 1995 to current. I can modify the results to the last five years. When I do this, our number goes down to 13. I can see on the left side the types of articles, research articles, abstracts, reviews, or brief reports. I'm going to select the second article by clicking on the title. From here you can read the full text online or you can download the PDF version for offline viewing. To view the PDF, select the PDF button on the menu bar. This shows the article as it was originally published. This is really helpful, especially for seeing page numbers and graphs and charts. Go back and click on share to send yourself a link to the article or to send to someone in your class. There is an option for citing the article, but unfortunately, it doesn't give options for APA citation styles. I recommend copying the citation and then referring to our APA citation guide to make it correct. JAPNA also allows you to create an account. You can create an account by clicking on the person icon at the top right side of the screen. From here, you can click on create profile and fill out the information. When you do this, you can set up email alerts for new issues or articles in your areas of interest and you can explore related articles to broaden your understanding of a topic. If you have questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to the library. We're here for you.